Hello and welcome to Star Citizen. My name is Evenlease, and today on 10 Minutes or Less Ship Review, we're taking a look at the Aegis Redeemer, a gunship. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Really quick, I do want to give a big shout out to everybody that did vote on what ship they wanted to see next that I reviewed. So thank you again. Let's go ahead and start it. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing the heaviest armor possible, I had quite the run in earlier and <laughs> I had to get outfitted for it. It was something else, but we can get into that in another video. Let's start with the exterior of this ship here. It is a gunship. This thing is outfitted to the hilts. Like, oh my goodness. There is so many weapons on this thing. Multiple turrets from two unmanned turrets to two manned turrets. As you can see, the weapons are gigantic. Um, just starting with the two biggest turrets you see, which are manned, bottom and top. And you can see the point of views they have right now on screen. I'm going to tell you, they are very limited. It feels like you're in the like an RSI cockpit when you're in those things. You just there's so much in your way, but their guns are something for themselves. Look how big they are. I, you got four size five AD five B Gatling guns on those things. It's impressive. Wow. <laughs> And uh, for the pilot-controlled weapons, those aren't pilot-controlled, but you do have this turret up here. As long as nobody is in the remote turret, you do have control over this with size 3 M5A laser cannons. You get two of them here. And then you have another two on the back. So there is two remote turrets, again, here and there. And then another pilot-controlled weapon is the two size 4 C788 cannons. So these ballistic cannons are also controllable by the pilot. Honestly, this ship, uh, <laughs> uh, stock, this ship, uh, yeah, it's, it's great. It's an amazing ship. I'd say get rid of the laser cannons and get rid of the ballistic cannons. Swapping, maybe, maybe get, make these ones FL-22s or FLs and those one ballistic <laughs> like Gatling guns, and you'd be much better off. But we're, we only do stock reviews here, right? So basing my review off stock, it's got quite the firepower. It is pretty amazing. Uh, it's not really a solo ship, though. You could solo stock this and go out there and hunt PvE targets. Um, be very careful going after player targets, though. Anything smaller than this ship is going to outmaneuver you. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. It moves like it too um it's slow you're not going to keep up with fast moving targets the top speed i got it up to scm is 959 that's oof everything outruns you in this thing but you do have firepower you know you got a ton of it like i said solo this thing is it's hit and miss it depends on how you upgrade it and that's really going to be how it plays out now with a team this thing is oof it is a beast. Like with a team, you will just knock targets down all day long. And that's just because, I mean, look how many weapons it has. <laughs> you do have ramp access here. So we're going to go through the ramp to get into this ship. Surprisingly, this ship has two SCU of cargo, which is awesome. We're going to get into that right now. Going over the stats on this ship, it does have a lot of health. Uh, the body alone has 45,000 HP, with the nose having 7,000 HP. A total of 102,300 health points all in all. It has two size 3 shields at 100,000 shield each. That's insane. Attacking this thing has got to be so difficult. <laughs> Starting with the interior here, you got four beds for the crew, and each crew member has a wardrobe including storage, which you can press on both of these to access 
Obviously the wardrobe is just for looks right now, but storage does work. To the right here, you do have my favorite feature, the bathroom. You got a nice mirror, which doesn't show anything at all. Totally okay. Not talking about that. And then you have a shower and a toilet, which I am not getting anywhere near because I always end up getting killed or something. <laughs> right here is where you'd fit the two SCU containers. Thank goodness, because usually they're in some awkward position and be almost impossible to get it in, but this is perfect. Very easy access. Love it. Moving on, you do have, which is amazing, a functioning kitchen. Not the food processor or the drinks. I'm talking about down below. This thing comes naturally stocked with stuff from drinks, foods, everything. All this here, if I were to open the doors, I could grab, get some beer in the system, get some water, get some juice, whatever you need, you got it. That is awesome. You don't have to stock this up yourself. I, <laughs> that's almost a reason to buy this ship alone. <laughs> that is the first floor of this ship. So let's go ahead and move up to the second uh, floor where all the work happens. Do, 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 do. A little bit of a climb on the ladder. I don't know how I'd ever climb through this in this armor, but sure, I'll do that. We'll start over here, and as you can see right off the bat, you have four jump seats. This ship, not only being a gunship, but could be a very good drop ship if needed, because it's got a ton of health points and it's got a ton of shield. So going into a hot zone with this ship to drop off troops, you bet you, you can definitely do that. You put four special forces in here while you got all these guns manned, and oh my goodness. Oh, this would be nasty. Let's go ahead and open up this door and see what you got behind this one. Starting off, you do have your first manned turret. This is the upper turret. You have to go to this panel here to get into it. Makes it very easy. And then you have a bunch of component access. Batteries are not accessible, but everything else is. So if you were to go over to the little buttons and press it, they would open up normally. There we go. Okay. <laughs> hey, open. <laughs> but yes, you do have access to all your massive components, which now I beg to ask the question, how did you get this in here? I had to go ahead and voice over this area right here because I was saying and I was speculating that the floors right here are going to drop out uh, to where you can actually get these massive components through the floor out of the ship. Because as you see on the back of the ship on the outside, there is a component door for the access here. But I actually think it's that back wall. So we'll have to find out when that time comes. Impossible. It would be absolutely impossible. And you don't want the engineers splitting your ship in half. <laughs> I mean, look at those shield generators. Wow. Insane. Let's go ahead and close these all up because we know how it is. Don't want to leave any of this open. Moving into the rest of the ship, you have, as well as your jump seats, you got a whole armory on here, so you can put a plethora of weapons, um, tons of storage up top, some baskets and stuff. <laughs> That's always good. You never know you might need it. And a little bit more component access, like your gravity generator and your life support, both inaccessible at this time. You got a couple more engineering stations here and over here, but not accessible. And then you got the bottom man turret. If you want to get into this turret, all you got to do is head to the right screen here and hit that button. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that would be pretty much this. I love the design, right? It's very, just something about it makes me go crazy. Like, it just looks really good. It looks really good. I like all the angles. Right here are your unmanned turrets. So these are your remote turrets. And uh, so you get, like, the back and the front. Perfect spots, perfect positions, they're right by the pilot, easy to throw commands around, so that's fantastic. Moving on, you got more components from avionics and to a fire extinguisher. Let's go ahead and get into the pilot seat here, or is that an O2 can? I think it's some sort of... Yeah, I didn't read it. <laughs> oh, good, it's getting dark out. That's what I thought it should do, right? Starting off the cockpit, you do have four MFDs. One, two, three, four. And let's go ahead and I'm going to turn on these engines here in a second and give you my rating on this thing. First, I'd like to see, is there a button to close the exterior? I love, here it is, close exterior. Cool. There's a lot more buttons than I thought there was. 
You do not have an ejection seat, obviously. You wouldn't want to eject from this ship. You'd probably get run over and never seen again. Um, and it's got so much health and shields. If you're needing to eject from this thing, you've probably stayed in the battle far too long. Let's go ahead and get the engines online. Okay. Perfect. There's really no oomph behind that, but that's all right. Put the landing gear up. Nothing like taking the girlfriend's hair straighteners out for a spin, right? <laughs> this ship is quite amazing. Maneuverability and speed, terrible. But it does have 5,700 quantum fuel. So, depending on how you upgrade this ship, you have yourself a beast. But again, this ship and my reviews are done stock. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and give you my score on this thing. I'm going to base it off quite a few little details here. The amount of firepower this thing has is insane. That's obviously a positive note. The fact that it carries any cargo, let alone two SCU, again, amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and give that as a positive note. <laughs> the overall health points, shield, and how many shields you have, it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal craft, right? This thing is a heavy hitter, and it's got the body and frame to do it. It's just insane. Honestly, the only negative drawbacks with this thing is how it comes... You know, outfitted with some of the weapons, like for the pilot, you, you need to switch them around a little bit if you really want to make a, you know, a big impact. But sure, fine. I'm not going to really give it a negative point on that because, like I said, the firepower is insane. It, if you got this thing outfitted with the team, you are set. Um, but I will say the negative point is the maneuverability and speed. So that will be dropping a point. Uh, this thing is a 9 out of 10. Straight off the bat, it is a beast, and it will do any job you need it to do from carrying one or two things of illegal substances <laughs> uh, to going after bounties, doing bunkers, doing drops, doing whatever you need. You got your ship here. Don't set yourself up for a 1,000 SCU of cargo, as this will not do that. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review of the Aegis Redeemer. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.